Good morning, subbies, and happy Christmas Eve, Eve. Today is the 23rd of December, and it's Vlogmas Day 23. That means it's Vlogmas Eve, no, Christmas Eve, Eve, as today is the Eve of Christmas Eve, if we didn't get what I was saying. Anyway, um, I'm just having my breakfast. I'm going out at half past ten. It's currently ten past six. Ten pa oh my god. It is currently ten past ten in the morning and I'm seeing little spots because I've been looking at the light bulb, not for personal. Like, I've like sight looked at it and then like just did it then for some stupid reason. And then I'm having like spots of light. But yeah, just had breakfast. Um, the bruise in my knee has come up so well. Last night I was in the bath and I was like, what on earth sat on my knee to find a blue blob. A blue and pink blob on my knee. Um, on my kneecap, actually. And I realised it was my bruise. So yeah, bruise has come out. I'm going to show you my calendar now. I managed to film every haul yesterday, which you all know. And it's on the wardrobe. I played wardrobe Jenga for about 15 minutes. Putting it all back in. As you all know, I got Lucy a big um, box from... Um, Sylvain families and that's in there and that's going to the bottom oh, basically it was so much fun doing that oh my gosh tomorrow's the last day of the advent calendar no right I don't know what tomorrow's is but you all know as well Santa we don't know how big it is so it's just no drop and that is the last one look it starts there and it finishes there it's a medium sized Santa, I think. Put that back in there, so I'm not gonna eat it now because I'm get, gonna be getting ready to go out. But yeah, um, the I was up till 10 past one this morning as I uploaded. I managed to get the vlog for yesterday uploaded. And that, I managed to get Payday's vlog uploaded for yesterday. It went up eventually. Sorry about how late it was. The Wi Fi was really, really rubbish. So I had to do it via I had to do it via Ethernet. And then it went up. And then yesterday I uploaded the um, Vlogmas Day 22, which went up, which is going to go up today at 5 o'clock. And I eventually got that up due to Ethernet as well. So yeah, both vlogs are up. I'm a bit less stressed out that I don't have to worry about putting that vlog up. I just have to worry about putting this vlog up for tomorrow. And then on Tuesday, I keep thinking um, Christmas is on a Monday or a, Tuesday or a Friday. I keep thinking today's like Tuesday or Wednesday, but it ain't. On Tuesday, I will have the Asda haul coming up, and on Monday, I'm actually working tomorrow. I'm working Monday um, in the morning, as we all have been, as it's Christmas Eve. And Christmas Eve is an extremely busy day for retail, so I'm working tomorrow. Woohoo! So that means I'm gonna probably bake buns today, because I've got, I um, said I'd bake, I'd bake some buns and take them to work for everybody to share. So, yeah, uh, that's really it for the moment. Um, now, 11 minutes past 10. Um. I didn't vlog whilst I was out. We had Christmas music on in the car and I only got that a little bit. It took us 40 minutes to get to Brick House and 40 minutes to get back from Brick House. It feels like I've actually not left the house. It feels so weird that I've been out and it, it just doesn't feel like I've been out today for some reason. Knowing full well I've just travelled for over an hour. Anyway, I'm back home now. Now, and this is what we went for. This is the hobby horse for Lucy. And this is not going to be from me and mum, this is going to be from Santa Claus. So, at the moment, it's living in my bedroom. Which means I'm not going to be able, I'm going to have to hide it before Lucy comes into my bedroom. It's a unicorn one, it was 4 99 And that's, your, that's the only um, reason why I went to Brick House, because it was in stock. And my dad said he would take me. And then, are you ready for this? Oh my gosh, it is so heavy. This is the Christmas 
packet from my dad from this is a Christmas parcel from my dad and oh wow it's soaking wet and um he does it's like a Christmas hamper um a chocolate hamper and my brother's just opened his and it's not Christmas yet but I'm leaving mine till Christmas because I this year um I know myself as my mum has told me that um on Christmas I'm not getting much I'm just getting um, money which I know how much but it's like it's to go towards a new phone basically so because the phone that I'm wanting is not in stock in Argos which that's the place I'm getting it from um, I will not have anything to open on Christmas day I love this to open I love my friends presents to open as well um, but because obviously it's gonna be vouchers for this phone I won't have anything to open so that is why I have, um, um, that is why I'm really chuffed with this, as it is super exciting to know that I've got a box full of goodies, and this box is so heavy, a box full of goodies, oh, I'm going to have to tape it up again because it's starting to come apart, I'm just um, getting all the rain off it, all the water off it, because it is throwing it down out there. Um, well, yeah, I've been out with my dad today, but didn't go to Westside, as the only place we were going was Brick House, as it was a... Long drive there and a long drive back, so we didn't bother going to West Side. Um, so I am going out with my friend this afternoon. I'm back. So yes, um, this is mine. It's so heavy. I'm super excited to open this. I got it last year, and I got. I showed you didn't know what I got last year, but it's got like an extra box on top for some reason, and it's this box is moving. Hmm. So I want to know what's in it. But, because on Christmas morning I won't have much to open, I'm just going to leave this till Christmas, it's, on, but it's Christmas Eve tomorrow so it can wait, but I'm just going to have to sell tape it up, because my hands will open it, because I will open it unwillingly, um, but yeah, so I've got that to do, but and now we're going to just basically get ready to go to Leeds, <sighs> got to wipe my bag down, my hand's hurting, I don't know why. I don't feel like I've been out, it's so annoying. Um, yeah. So it's now just gone ten past one and I'm a bit stressed out mum because I'm trying to call my friend and arrange to go to Leeds. We did arrange to get the 135 train to Leeds, but it's like, now that I've said I want to go to Geisley, she knows that and she put back saying um, a message and Oh, she's texted me now. Um, sorry. Right. Basically, I've just been panicking because obviously the train station is around half an hour away from me and even longer actually. It depends how quick I walk. And knowing that we are, we arranged to get the 135 train, it's now 10 past. I'm not going to make it down there in 20 minutes and it depends if she knows that we're going to Leeds or not. So it's like, oh, I don't know what to do. I just need to, need to let her know that I want to go to Leeds and that I've got two presents, two gift bags that are in one bag. But I've just been stressing out because, like, you know why I like to be prepared. I want, I am organised. I like, I'm organised, yeah, right? I prepare. I always prepare when I'm going to like Brick House today. I prepared that last night. I'm prepared when I go to Leeds. I always get my bag ready. I'm prepared the night before and now today it's like because I said I've got guys late and then it's like I've got Leeds now. It's like my head is all over the place. It's still deciding we've got Leeds guys. And it's like well I want to go to Leeds and I'm just waiting to see if she replies and oh god it's so stressful. It's like I'm just really I love being organised. Prepared and just I need to be prepared I if I'd confirmed I confirmed the other day that I was going to Leeds but now it's like my head's like no I've got guys like but like now it's like I've got Leeds so that means I'm gonna have to get ready quickly and rush down to train station so stressful so stressful <laughs> So we're in Leeds. This is gonna be super awkward, you know. Now we're in Leeds. We're going to St John's. I'm thinking our bargain's still open. Click. 
totally get it. And the Queen's. Very nice, we're going home now. Look how pretty, oh so pretty, and it's raining really bad. And the lights, and the Christmas tree, bye bye. Hi guys, so we're at train station now, we're going home, it's always there, but I don't know if it's going to camera or not. Um, train's here, and we're off home. Hi guys, I'm back home. I've been out with my friend Zoe and we went to Leeds. As you could tell, we had a really good time. Went to Poundland, Primark, um, Boots and Primark. Oh, I did buy some at Primark actually. And Lush, I got my mum some bath bombs because she asked for some and Zoe gave me a gift. Happy, um, it says, wishing you a happy Christmas and I'm so looking forward to opening this for Christmas. And has she rode on the dog? Oh bless her she has. Oh. But yeah, we actually um I really wanna know what's going here. It's like the thing is obviously got to go to Christmas. Um we didn't right, I'm gonna tell you what happened now. This is gonna be a very long story. So we well I went we went to the two thirty five train. Um we originally was gonna go for the one thirty five and we went for the two thirty five. In the end we found we was going to lead, so we was like, okay, we'll go for one thirty five. We both wasn't ready, so we went for the 235 train from Guys to Leeds. So I went to the train station and I bought um, some tickets. The first time I bought a ticket, it was a, it, all I saw was any day, any time, any time day, any time day. And I thought any time um, return, any time. I just saw any time basically. So I clicked it, paid for it. And it printed two tickets out. I thought, well, I needed a return. Why is it printing two tickets out? It was an adult single, and that cost me four pound. Then I paid for a um, return, which was any time day return. It is Sunday. Let me tell you that a bit later. But I got any time day return, which is six pound and like ten p, something like that, or th no, six pound thirty. So I paid for them too, and then. The train came at 2.35 and um, what happened was, was it came, Zoe wasn't there unfortunately, so I didn't get on. And then she came running down saying um, that basically we, that was my finger clicking, she, she was offering me a lift to Appley Bridge. So we could get the Appley Bridge train to Leeds and then get the Leeds train to Appley Bridge back and then get a lift home. So I, at that time, was my head was like, what the heck is she talking about? Why? Why? What is she saying? What is she doing? What are we doing? So, I went the bridge, got a refund, came back, said, okay, we'll go up the bridge. So, went and got in the car with, um, luckily, her parents gave me a lift, which I'm very fortunate for, and thank you very much. And we got a lift to up the bridge. I paid for the Appley Bridge return to Geisley. On the, no, 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 that's wrong. I got the a ticket which took me from Apple Bridge to Leeds and then Leeds to Apple Bridge and it was any time day return, no, off peak as Sunday is basically off peak, you cannot get any other car, any, well you can but you, um, it's basically off peak all day so you can return any time. So I got that, paid for that, got on the train, went to Leeds and then came back but we went from Apple Bridge and that just made my head scream. I was like so confused at the time. But I went with it and we got there. And coming back to the bridge, we got lift home, which I'm very fortunate for again. Um, and I'm really, I'm just still at the moment like, wow, been to Leeds. Um, but yeah, we went to um, St. John's Centre, went to Merrion Centre. Unfortunately, due to it being the eve of Christmas Eve, Places were shutting rather early, like Trinity Leeds was shutting early, they were shutting at 6 o'clock and um, St John's and Marion were shutting about 4-ish, 5-ish, um, 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock and it was just like, we went in the wrong time. Still got stuff from Primark, still got stuff from Poundland, still got stuff from Lush, still got stuff from Boots, so that's all good. And now I'm just like buzzing again because I've got a video to film again. Um, I've got two presents to open on Christmas Day. I'm so excited. Oh, I'm, just, I'm so excited. I gave her two gift bags because it would fit into one. But yeah, I've now got a box to open Christmas Day. 
and a lot more wrapping to do, which is like, mm. I bought two sandwiches from Boots, but we're having pigs in blankets and smash tonight. Oh, we wobbling. And I, um, two sandwiches are 50p each because of tomorrow's date, so I bought them. Um, one for tomorrow for after work. And it's now half six. And this time, an hour ago, I was in Leeds. Sitting on train. I'm going to show you this right now. Look what I got. I've been used to do this, but they don't do it anymore. This is chocolate popcorn. This is going in the Christmas Eve box, which I'm giving tomorrow to the family. I've not got anything else for the box, unfortunately. I might go to Asda after work, because I've got one more. I'm going to have to go to Asda after work, as I've got one more gift to buy. But yeah, proper corn, chocolate popcorn. Like, seriously. And it was only 70p. Came to £2.80. I thought it was a pound each, but no. This is going to go into the chocolate, into the Cadbury's Christmas Eve box. I'm so excited for Christmas Eve now. It's tomorrow and it just doesn't feel like it. It still doesn't feel like it, which is really annoying. But yeah, I've got stuff to do now. I've got, oh my God, I've got buns to make. I don't know if I'm going to make up tonight. I don't know, guys. Hmm... I don't know, I'm so annoyed at myself at the moment because he's got so much stuff to do. I've got wrapping to do and it's just the buzz from going to Leeds and coming back and being like, wow. Hi guys, so it's now like 8 o'clock. It is quarter past 8 and I am now going to basically sign off here and get ready for bed. Had tea, I've not done any baking, I'm going to leave the baking after Christmas and also, um, I might even bake tomorrow after work and take them to work, but actually I can't look, can I? Mm. Also, um, I've just based like a basically tea, had something to eat afterwards, had some chocolate afterwards, and put I've put the presents down there. I've opened the bag, which Zoe gave me. I opened it and I've just felt the present is like. I'm so eager to know what they are, like a fox one. This one feels like nail varnish. She knows I love nail varnish, I love spice if that's nail varnish. Then there's this one. I don't know what this is. Obviously I don't know any of them. And then there's this one which looks like after eight. But after eight doesn't make that noise. So that's something else. I know. I cannot look. Um, so I've got them and I have opened them, um, well not opened them, I have opened the bag to fill the presents and I'm just going to seal it back up so I don't get too eager for Christmas Day. But yeah, it's a really cute bag as well, so I'll be reusing that next year for somebody else's Christmas, Christmas, Christmas present. Um, I gave her two bags full, like gift bag fulls. I, we don't have, obviously, every year we don't have a certain amount to spend on each other. We don't even, every time, every year we say, oh, I shouldn't have bought her a Christmas present, or oh, you shouldn't have bought her a birthday present. But we buy each other presents, and I am very happy, like, I'm very thankful that she's bought me a present even though I didn't want her to. So, um, I gave her two full gift bags, and you saw what I got her, so... I'm rather happy because she was a bit shocked when she saw two bags. But yes, um, I've also got to get her her Christmas, her birthday presents as well, as that is in the coming upcoming month. So yes, um, I've got them down there by the Christmas tree, as obviously they both want it on the Christmas tree with the big box and the gift bag. So at least I've got something. I'm happy I've got something to have on Christmas Day. And don't want presents, but it's like to know that I've got something to have on Christmas Day. I don't know what it is, it's only one two sleeps away. It's exciting. So um but like on the train home, I don't know if you I've told you, but there was a man, I think I don't think I've told you actually. There was a man on the train that asked to asked us where the conductor was and we told him because we was on the in the carriage where the conductor's little room is and we told him it was in there, he went and asked him that he'd lost his book at the train station. Um, he'd left it behind and he had just got out of prison and I was like a big wow okay um 
but yeah, hopefully he's got that sorted out. Drive me insane. She knows there is something in this bag down here for her, but she's not allowed it. I got her some markers from Pan World to Pan Pan today, and she knows that it's in there, and she knows. So for the rest of the evening, she's gonna be in my room pacing, wanting to have to get these markers, but she's not getting them until Christmas. She's gonna have to wait. I'm just gonna have to put them into my wardrobe or something. She loves her markies. I also got some bottles as well. But yeah, um, thank you for watching this video. Happy Christmas Eve, Eve, and I shall see you tomorrow Christmas Eve. I can't believe it. Come on. She's oh, sniffing through my bin now. Oh, I'm gonna have to end here, guys, because this guy is driving me insane. So I'll see you all tomorrow. Vlogging this Eve, Eve, not vlogging this Eve, Eve. Um, Christmas Eve, and I hope you all have a great day. Like, subscribe, comment below. I love you all. Bye.